Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a review for this Blitty AC2A portable power station. Um, this is uh, Blitty's um, kind of a new power station at the time of making this uh, video at least. Um, you know, definitely on the smaller range, so you're not looking for too much power, but you know, you want a mini type of power station that's able to, you know, supply just enough power for your needs. Um, this is going to be a good option and also it's a mini power station so it's going to be easily portable You can take it nearly anywhere that you want to um, But not an airplane of course. I think this is way out of that realm But uh, what's included in the box with the AC2A power station is the manual a uh, grounding screw right over here the AC charging cable an XT60 to MC4 charge solar charging cable and um, I think I don't know what this is. Uh, I think this is for the warranty. Yeah, this is the warranty card right there uh, but yeah, anyways, um, this AC2A power station is a uh, is decent. I mean, it's a mini power station. It's not going to be breaking any limits. Um, you know, you you have to know what you're going to be getting um, if you're going to be purchasing any power station in general. And in this case, you're just going to be getting 204.8 watt hours of battery capacity and a 300 watt pure sine wave output from the AC outlets. Um, you know, like just coming straight out of the box. However, uh, this power station does feature power lifting mode uh, through the Blue Eddy app, and that can actually take the AC outlets from outputting 300 watts to outputting 600 watts, or at least make the appliance think that it's receiving enough power, um, because that's basically what power lifting mode is. It's you know decreasing uh, voltage and increasing amperage to make the uh, appliance that you're powering think that it's getting enough power. Uh, but we're gonna get there when we get there in this review. Um, but just taking a look at the power station itself, um, you know, a really small size. Once again, I think it might look bigger in this video, but it is really small. I do have a Coke can right over here just to give you an idea of how small it is. But yeah, it's it's very small, you guys. Um, and also in terms of the size, it does have a 10 by 6 by 7 inch form factor, I believe. And it weighs about, I think, 7.9 pounds. So about 8 pounds right there. Uh, at the front is we're going to be finding most of everything. You have the DC input right over here. Uh, you know, an XT60 input, I mean, sorry. Uh, it does have a uh, max 200 watt solar recharging speed right there. You get the uh, car socket outlet that's able to output 120 watts right there. Um, you get the power buttons right over here that are able to output the DC sections and the AC button that's able to output the AC outlets. Uh, you got to pull down the power button to turn on the power station. I already have it on right here. Um, the screen um, is pretty informative. It's a you know a Blue Eddy screen, so it's going to be as informative as most other Blue Eddy power station screens. Um, input to the left uh, and output to the right. In the middle, you get the battery battery percentage, and the estimated runtime is right there. Eco mode is on, and you know Bluetooth is activated, and I am connected to the Blue Eddy app right here as well. Uh, shows you the frequency of the AC outlets uh, right there, which is 60 hertz. Um, the charging ports are uh, pretty decent. You know, you do get a single uh, Type-C 100 watt power delivery port, so that's great to see. Uh, you do get two Type-A 12 watt ports, and yeah, once again, the uh, two AC outlets. Um, this is actually pretty awesome to see here. You get, you know, two um, dedicated like three prong AC outlets. Uh, you know, on some mini power stations, you get like a uh, three prong one, and then you get just a two prong one, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, two like dedicated grounded uh, AC outlets is pretty nice to see. Um, over at the top, you do get the uh, uh, the handle that makes the power station easier to move around. And right over here is the AC input. Um, I think the power station maxes maxes out at 270 watts of AC recharge speed. Um, you know, you're able to cycle through either I think silent, standard, and turbo recharge speeds. Um, I like going with the turbo recharge rate simply because I like a fast recharge speed. This is the grounding lug right over here and this is where you can use the included grounding screw to actually ground the AC outlets on this power station. You get the vent for the internal fan. Over the back it does give you the specifications, cautions, danger, and nothing over to the left side of the power station. And uh, that's really about it in terms of the overview. Uh, yeah, you know, once again, a really simple power station. If you're just looking to like power, I would say maybe a lamp um, and any other lower wattage appliances, this is going to be a good option. 
um, you know, the lower the wattage, the better in this case, because you're going to be able to use the device for a longer uh, time, simply because it does have a pretty small battery capacity. Um, and also, this power station does feature lithium iron phosphate batteries. Of course, that's the standard at this point, for Bluidy at least, and other comparable brands. Uh, so you're going to be looking at about 3,000 charge cycles or more. So, you know, these batteries are definitely going to lot are definitely going to last a very long time. Um, and this power station does feature a UPS, you know, an uninterrupted power supply when you when you have the um, AC charging cable plugged in. Um, I think it has a 20 millisecond uh, switchover going from the grid to the power station. I'm going to be testing that out in this review as well. Uh, but before we get to that and before we get to uh, AC and DC capacity testing, uh, let me show you guys the Bluity app compatibility. Um, you know, if you see my other Bluity uh, power station reviews, I'm basically going to be going through the same thing, to be honest. Um, you know, it's the same app, uh, you know, a different power station, but, you know, it's relatively the same thing again. Um, over here on the, you just, got, you just got to make sure that the power station itself is on and that you have Bluetooth activated on your phone and then you can, and then you can connect to the uh, power station. Uh, right over here at this screen, it's just going to show you the battery percentage, uh, solar and grid input and DC and AC output right there. You have the option to turn off the power station remotely. You have the option to turn on or turn off the DC and AC outlet sections. Uh, battery pack, uh, depending on if you have another battery pack connected to the power station. But I suppose if you do have a uh, um, expansion battery from, from Bluetti and you plug it in to say like, I don't know, to maybe this uh, XT60 port, maybe it will detect it. I'm not too sure about that, but yeah, that's uh, interesting to see. Right up here, I think this does I think this just tells you the uh, solar generation that the power station has gone through or something like that, I think. <laughs> um, right over here, go to settings. Uh, it's gonna give you the user manual to access electronically, carbon emission factor. Once again, not too sure about what this is, but uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, display on home page. Um, if you want the power station, um, you know, if you want the power station to, to be displayed on the home page, of this Bluetti app, you have the option to do that as well. Oh, and this is what I mentioned before, standard, turbo, and silent are these uh, three charging modes, uh, well, three AC charging modes that you can find on nearly any Bluetti power station at this point. Um, power lifting mode, you know, taking the AC outlets from 300 watts to 600 watts right there. A eco mode, it just allows the, uh, you know, either the DC section or the AC outlet sections to turn off automatically. Uh, depending on what the wattage output is and after a certain time it will shut that section down um, pretty useful like if you just want to save power um, auto sleep uh, i think like if you're i think this is for the screen um, i think i'm just going to select never to have the screen to stay on forever uh, firmware upgrade advanced settings um, you can, this is where you can adjust the frequency of the AC outlets and grid self adaption, you know, once again, the system can charge normally even when the voltage on the electrical grid is unstable due to voltage spikes, drops, or other instabilities. So that's pretty cool to see in case you want to activate that. Oh, yeah, and you also have the option to factory reset everything about the power station and I think the app as well. And uh, yeah, that's really about it when it comes to app compatibility with the Bloody AC2A power station. Um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get this. Uh, power station charged up back to 100% um, and run the DC capacity and the AC capacity test to see how much of that 204 watt hour capacity I can actually use. All right, guys, so I did finish up the uh, DC capacity test for the AC two way power station. Um, I ran this load tester via the car socket outlet right over here. Um, you know, I ran it for about um, an hour and a half <laughs> at a 120 watt load of power until the power station was uh, down to 0%, and I ended up with a 174 watt hour capacity, and that gave me about a 85% um, DC capacity efficiency. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the DC capacity is what I would consider to be good. Um, I'm gonna move on to doing the AC capacity test. Uh, I'm gonna get this uh, AC2A power station back to 100% and probably run a crock pot, which is gonna be using about 
250 watts, I think, at its high setting. All right, you guys, so I did finish up the AC capacity test. Um, you know, I ran this crock pot over here um, with the AC2A power station all the way from 100% to 0%. And I ended up with a 170 watt hour capacity. And that gave me about a 83% AC capacity efficiency. Um, so, you know, mo most of the time, the AC capacity is almost always going to be lower than the DC capacity. And in this case, it's just a few percentage points lower. Oh, and also, if you're curious about me um, using the uh, car socket outlet, uh, yeah, there it is um, in action. Um, pulling about 122 watts, you know, basically 120 watts, which is the max output of this uh, car socket outlet. And uh, yeah, I just want to show that real quick to show you guys that it performs how it's supposed to. All right, you guys, so just back with the AC2A power station. And in this case, I'm going to be showing you guys the um, power lifting mode. Um, you know, we already know that this power station is able to supply 300 watts of power, uh, you know, normally. Um, but, you know, with power lifting mode, you can use over 300 watts technically in a way. And so in this case, I'm going to be powering on this heater that uses 500 watts. But with the powerlifting mode off first to uh, show that the unit automatically shuts down with powerlifting mode off and i'm going to turn powerlifting mode on and then and then i'm going to retry and then i'm going to retry the test again to see what happens and uh, yeah anyways uh, i was going to turn on the heater um so yeah the power station should yeah there we go um got that overload protection going on and i think you just have to unplug what's ever plugged into the ac outlet uh you just got to hold down the ac button or something like that um yeah press it like that and then press it again um but yeah and anyways i'm gonna turn on power lifting mode now and so in this case the heater should technically be able to run from this uh ac2a power station uh only one way to find out with power lifting mode on there we go and yeah there we go now the heater is actually being powered um and pretty decently as well all right you guys so i just want to show you the ups feature with the ac2a power station and so what's happening right here is that i have the ac charging cable plugged into this uh, power strip and so this uh, lamp that i have plugged in is actually being powered from the power strip not the power station um as you can see it says grid right right over here on the screen of the ac2a power station um and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see about that switch over time by unplugging the ac charging cable from the power station to see um like you know how the switch over performs and to see if like the light flashes or not um it probably will flash but we're gonna see i'm gonna pull it out in one two three. Oh boy okay it's not coming out okay just a second it's gotta shimmy it okay just give me a minute oh there we go yep look at that it was like a barely a flicker but yeah it did switch over um that was a pretty good time in my opinion um but yeah that, that's the ups feature in action uh, for this booty power station um the reason why i didn't use the heater because is because uh, you can't use power lifting mode when you're you can't use the ups feature and power lifting mode at the same time which is why i'm not using the heater right now so just heads up on that all right you guys so just back with the ac2a and in this case i'm going to be testing out the uh, ac recharging speeds um and so right over here i do have the silent mode activated uh right there and this is going to be recharging power station at about 80 watts it's going to turn on the fan um a lot less so it stays more quiet um and uh then the next level up from that is going to be standard mode and that's going to be able to recharge the power station at uh let's see over here uh, 130 watts um and so the fan does run but it doesn't run as fast and therefore it makes less noise and right over here turbo mode is going to be the fastest option to recharge the power station um which is going to be 270 watts uh that's very fast um considering the 200 uh, four watt hour capacity of this power station you're looking at a zero to 100 percent in less than an hour i think um so that's really good all right you guys so just doing some charging port testing uh with the ac28 power station and in this case i'm just testing out the uh, 100 watt type c power delivery port i'm not gonna bother with the type a ports i mean they're 12 watt type a ports what more could you ask for i mean i mean what more like do you want to know they're just 12 watt ports um but what but what matters most is that I am actually able to pull um, the 100 watts from the 
a type c port to recharge this x Hydra's power bank that has a 100 watt recharge speed and yeah i'm using about 95 watts but you know close enough and uh yeah charging ports work how they're supposed to all right you guys so that is my review of the bloody ac2a power station um you know it's a simple power station it's a mini power station <laughs> if you're going to be getting this you're going to you already know what you want to power with it just like any other power station really that you're spending money on um you know think low wattage appliances you know maybe light sources uh you know just small things that are going to be that are, that are going to make this uh unit reliable um you know it features a really nice um ups uh feature uh, the 200 watt max solar recharging speed i think i will be testing that out in a separate video titled maybe like you know uh bloody ac2a solar recharging test um but yeah overall in, in it's an inexpensive uh power station you know since it's low on uh, battery capacity and power output it's going to be um lower priced so you know you have to look at you have to look at it that way um i may be doing a um ac2a versus an EcoFlow River 2 power station um, comparison video as well because this does have a lot of similarities between the EcoFlow River 2 um, and yeah overall a decent power station there's nothing really bad to say about it you could say that it has a low capacity or low power output but that's exactly what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a mini power station um, and it performed how it's supposed to in my in my testing you know, once again, it's just very small, very lightweight. I do like this like integrated handle, um, you know, that's part of the actual structure of the power station. Um, I will have a link down in the description below for this uh, AC2A. I will also have a link to the review article over at chargerharbor.com in case you want to read a review uh, for the power station as well. And I will see you all on the next video. All right. Goodbye.